Shalom, beloved. A word. Spirit is season of restoration. We see it going on all around us. It is a certainty. I keep hearing it. I keep feeling it. And the spirit is repeating it over and over and over. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim. They have dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Yes, beloved. Yes. We are in the season of restoration and this restoration is not just physical, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's knowledge coming in floods. We are in the season of restoration of morality. You have nations in the motherlands throwing off the chains of their oppression. That restoration where we get back those things, our artifacts, knowledge, truth that has been stolen from us. I want to show you the damage of what a locust can do, or we'll speak about it. Locust swarms devastate crops and cause major agricultural damage, which can lead to famine and starvation. Locusts can occur in many parts of the world, but today, locusts are most destructive in subsistence farming regions in Africa. Okay, when we talk about the damage that they can do, they can lead to famine and starvation. Yes, a famine of the truth, starved of the knowledge of the Most High, starved of the knowledge of who we are. You see the residue of the locusts when they put want to put away our history, rewrite the truth, which means it's nothing more than a lie. Now we're going to talk about the canker worm, okay? Feeding can cause complete defoliation of a tree. A mature strong, strong tree can survive one or two seasons of complete defoliation, but more than three years of canker worm feeding can cause the branches to die. That's why we were removed and they're trying to steal everything, but we're in a season of restoration, the truth of who we are and what Yahuwah is doing. How does the locust, the caterpillar, the canker worm, the palmer worm, what did they do? You got to understand it's not just stealing the people. One of the ways is by telling everybody to assimilate. We want you to assimilate, okay, to take in and incorporate as one's own, to bring into conformity with the customs, attitudes of a dominant social group. But we know we are not supposed to conform to the ways of this world, but transform by the renewing of our minds with the spirit of the most high, okay? But in this system, we are told to assimilate, go along to get along. No, no, no. We are in the season, beloved, of restoration. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Yes, yes, yes. When they take away your inventions and call them their own, when they try to remove your history and claim it never was and try to elevate themselves, they have not just stolen the people, they've stolen the name, they've stolen the land. They tried to put themselves in place of imposters, if you will. But the restoration has come. And when I was reading about the locust, when the spirit was talking about it, he was talking about those nations, those nations that have gone in, they've stolen the resources, they've stolen the people, they've stolen their artifacts, their history, they filled their museums with them. Okay, but now is the season to give back and they're being exposed. There's no hiding place, beloved. It is a restoration mentally. It is a restoration spiritually. This right here, this carnal, um, mundane, low vibrational system that we're in, it's coming to an end. We're watching it all over the world. And may the spirit of Yah go and strengthen all those that are throwing off the shackles of those that want to create a lie of life. But know for certainty that restoration, even if you're down, you're going to come up, beloved. Even if your enemy thinks they won, remember, a good man can fall seven times. The Lord will lift them up. Good man, good woman. 
remember, and what is impossible for man, all things are possible with Yahuwah. Believe me, beloved. These days and my people shall never be ashamed. Now, not only is the truth going out, your name is coming back. Be at peace and be encouraged, beloved. It is the season of restoration. We are watching it in the diaspora all over the world. And that enemy is being found out. That so-called honor, the honor that they gave themselves by using other people's treasures, other people's work, other people's land, other people's, when we created it, but they try to name it. How do you put a people down, but steal their culture and try to get money, get fame, steal everything? The same thing that they tried to use as something to be ashamed of is now the exact thing that they glorify in. I don't care if it's a Brazilian butt lift or fat lips, when you look at the history of how they promoted it, I don't care if it's the melanin in your skin. Now, beloved, the sun shall not smite thee by day. Yes, as the earth cleanses itself, the season of restoration is upon us, and morality is coming in, justice is coming in, truth is coming in. There are nations that are not following the infestation of the unjust, corrupt ones, the lawless ones, and their voices are not silenced. They are getting louder and louder, and you are being heard. It doesn't matter where we are. Be encouraged, beloved. We are one under Yah. All praise, all glory unto Yahuwah. Our great Adonai, may the Lord add a blessing to his word, Yeshua HaMashiach, and may the Ruach HaKadosh and the Ruach Chakma, the spirit of wisdom, be upon his beloved. Guide us, beloved. Guide us, Father, as we seek you out and forgive us our sins, for there are many. Cover us in the blood of the Lamb who is sacrificed, that we may be redeemed. You said he, Yeshua HaMashiach, will be the, the head of the house of Jacob forever, forever. We follow your word, Father, for he is our head, and you are our Adonai, our Elohim. Shalom, beloved. It is a word.